All right, let's play. She's lifting. I thought she was naked, by the way. It apparently does the color of her leggings. It is what it is. Ooh. Oh. Girlfriend got stuck. Bail out. Just, just bail. She got stuck. She didn't want to throw it. So now she's trying to get guys to come over and help her to lift that thing off her back. <laughs> right now this goes on. <laughs> Look, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just she's bail. just sitting there. Just, just throw bail it out. Right just throw it. She was afraid to do that. And I'm not going to lie. I might be afraid to do it too because it's a lot of weight. And I'd be like, shit, is this yeah. thing going to hit me in the behind? What's yeah. going to go on? She stays there. She stays there. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, you can't stay there all day, girlfriend. Stays there. It's too much, right? You know this? <laughs> Does anyone actually help her? Oh, yeah. You know who helps her? A, a female. Uh, a she, female comes she pissed over. About her, yeah. yeah. So a girl, ultimately what happens is, if you scroll through, I don't know, Dell, if you want to scroll through, but ultimately what happens is a girl comes over. She's yeah, sitting yeah, there for like go. a minute. Lifts it <laughs> off her back. She's like, hey, hey, hey. Now, granted, guys have earbuds, but you will see that the girl comes over and helps her. First of all, girlfriend, why are you lifting all that weight? That's too much weight for you. You need to know your limits. That's number one. But here's the thing that struck me is this, because we've been seeing all these images of girls in the gym where, you know, half naked, booby out, booty out, and then a guy, like, has the nerve to look her way. And it's like, oh, my God, he makes me feel so unsafe, all that stuff. But now you have a dynamic where, this instance, you have women in the gym, and I guarantee you there are guys that saw what was going on and were like, I'm staying out of this. I don't want to be in some video. I'm not getting involved. Yeah, I don't want to be. the trap up with the phone recording. I don't want to be accused of what I'm doing, that I'm approaching her, all that. And this is what I say about like feminism wrecking men, because your natural instinct as a man would just be like, let me go over and help this woman. Yeah. Right. Normal. Like Back in my dad's day, you wouldn't even think about that. He would have gone over. He would have been like, oh, you got to be careful, honey. Don't lift stuff that's so heavy. Let me help you out. You got to be afraid to do everything now. And I think that's why when people say, the death of gentlemen and all this. Women complain. I saw a video of a very prominent female figure being like, oh, all the good men are gone. All the good men. It's like, well, you, you killed them. You killed whatever was inside of them that would have made them actually act like men. Guys are afraid to be men. Yeah. Feminism has disincentivized men from being gentlemen. Completely. It's all backwards. It's all backwards. Can we fix it? Um, yes. Yes, you, don't, you totally can fix it. How do you fix it, though? Even if you fix... Even if you give advice to men, get them back on the right track, if women are getting what they're getting, fed to them, spoon fed to them all day long, is that dynamic ever going to get fixed? Well, okay, the, the solution from, from, from the man's perspective is you ignore those women and you pursue the ones that are actually acting feminine and like women again. You just, you have to delegate, your attention is valuable. So, okay, I only give attention and I'm only a gentleman to the women that deserve to be a gentleman to. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's, it, that's... Does that work if in a guys... Long, in, on, on a societal level, if every dude started acting that way, if men actually started opening the doors for like, you know... Women who deserved it. Women who deserved it. I mean, look, it's hard to tell if a woman deserves it just by looking at her, I suppose. Right. But in general, if men were, were more gentlemanly and more chivalric, like the classical examples you might think of, towards the women who actually deserved it, I think women would start... Mm. You know, acting a bit more feminine and stuff. But that goes both ways. Like, women are the gatekeepers towards, like, men. Women incentivize men's behavior. Mm -hmm. Women through sex. So, okay, when you lower the barrier to entry for sex in right. general, okay, what's the guy need to do to get sex? Okay, nothing. Like, not really <laughs> that much anymore. Like, he used to have to, like, give you, like, eight goats and stuff. Right. And, and you know, give that Pick to you your up at the father, house, shake like, your dad's <laughs> hand. All this stuff. Be scared of the dad in the house. Yes, there I was saw, layers deep. I saw, I couldn't find the tweet again, but I saw this tweet about a woman who, uh, so this woman had an idea for a dating app. Mm -hmm. And the idea was you have to, um, dating app where you match, and then the dude has to come around to your house and meet your father. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, great start, but you have to add one more layer to that. Your father has to be able to veto the dude mm -hmm. if you like him. If you don't like him, oh, if, sorry, if you like him, your dad's like, he's a, Terrible choice. <laughs> veto. 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 Immediate veto. <laughs> oh man, my because, dad would have vetoed my college choice. Right, because lie. and that's an, that's another big thing that's happened is we've taken up like fathers are shamed for having mm -hmm. an influence on their daughter's dating life, mm -hmm. which is totally backwards. Because they're strong, empowered women. You didn't get the message. But the idea, like, who knows more about about men? No, I'm with you. The 18 year old girl who is you know following her emotions and can in you know, flights of fancy, mm -hmm. right? Or 
her like 50 year old dad who spent his whole life doing business with men playing sports with men engaging right. to, engaging with men all, all he's like he knows which of his male friends are complete players and playboys right. and they're the ones who are you know committed husbands or whatever he's gonna have a pretty b good indication of this guy's a player or this guy mm -hmm. actually might be like husband yeah. material but that's that's toxic masculinity or whatever yeah. we and can't we can't possibly have fathers taking care of their daughters anymore oh heaven forbid that no 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 can't have that at all if you like the short clip and want to watch the full episode click here and if you want to connect with me one-on-one -on, -one on Manect, you're gonna click right here let's get to talking